Performing the Valsalva Maneuver This micro lesson will briefly explain how to instruct a patient to perform the Valsalva Maneuver while performing an echocardiogram. The Valsalva Maneuver works when there is forced exhalation against the closed airway. The intrathoracic pressure increases and venous return decreases, thus bringing about the left ventricular outflow obstruction. To practice the Valsalva Maneuver with the patient, Begin by explaining to the patient what the healthcare team will be asking them to do. Then, practice the Valsalva maneuver with the patient. The explanation should include the following. We are going to ask you to perform a Valsalva maneuver. What you are going to do is close your mouth, take a breath in, do not breathe in or out through your nose, and bear down like you are having a bowel movement. Continue to hold your breath and do not let any air in or out from your nose. We are going to ask you to hold your breath for 10 seconds. After explaining the Valsalva maneuver, perform a practice Valsalva maneuver with the patient. After the practice Valsalva maneuver is performed, perform the real Valsalva maneuver while imaging. Practice allows the patient to practice performing the maneuver and the sonographer time to see how the image plane may change with the Valsalva maneuver. I'm going to have you do a Valsalva maneuver now, so I want you to take a deep breath in, hold it, bear down, and like you're having a bowel movement, and then we'll start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, release. To tailor the echocardiogram for evaluation of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, perform the Valsalva maneuver with color Doppler and spectral Doppler in addition to the standard resting baseline images. When evaluating patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, pulse wave Doppler is used initially to identify the level of the obstruction. Then, continuous wave Doppler is used to measure the highest velocity at rest without the Valsalva maneuver, and then during the Valsalva maneuver. Label the images as Valsalva when recording the continuous wave Doppler waveform with Valsalva. Then, evaluate for change in gradient with Valsalva Maneuver. This is an example of pulsed wave Doppler and identifying the level of obstruction, then switching to continuous wave Doppler to record the highest velocity. Then, we will have the patient perform the Valsalva Maneuver and record continuous wave Doppler while the patient is performing the Valsalva Maneuver. I'm going to ask you to do the Valsalva maneuver again, so I'd like you to go ahead and bear down. And we'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, release. This is an example showing the continuous wave Doppler at rest in a patient with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Note the velocity at rest is 4.58 meters per second. The velocity with the Valsalva maneuver is 5.41 meters per second. This video demonstrates at rest the color Doppler used to identify the level of obstruction. This is a normal volunteer with an example just to show the technique. Please go ahead and start your Valsalva maneuver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, release. This long video clip will demonstrate how performing the Valsalva maneuver while imaging with color Doppler can demonstrate the level of obstruction where we see turbulent flow 
and show worsening MR.